continue for the impeachment investigation into the governor. Here is what we know today. The law firm Davis Polk and Wardwell has now been hired to look into the claims of sexual harassment and inappropriate behavior against the governor from at least seven women. The probe also includes an investigation into how the governor handled nursing home COVID-19 data. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui tells us what's next for the governor, including the impeachment process and what it looks like. I'm going to respect uh, the review and I won't comment on it or related matters. Governor Andrew Cuomo taking questions from the press for the first time this week, but isn't commenting on anything related to the multiple investigations of wrongdoing by him or his administration. He says he won't debate the facts in the media. But some say the assembly selection of downstate law firm Davis Polk and Wardwell to lead the impeachment investigation poses a conflict of interest. Former firm partner Dennis Glazer is married to State Supreme Court of Appeals Chief Judge Janet DeFiori. Di Fiori was appointed to the bench by Cuomo. Quote, we are alarmed to learn that Speaker Hastie has hired Davis Polk to assist in the investigation. Given the connection between Dennis Glazer, who spent more than 30 years as a partner at Davis Polk, and the governor. This is an unacceptable conflict of interest, said attorney Deborah Katz, who represents Charlotte Bennett, one of Cuomo's accusers. According to Speaker Carl Heasty, the firm was well vetted. Quote, hiring Davis Polk will give the committee the experience, independence, and resources needed to handle this important investigation in a thorough and expeditious manner, he said in a statement. The firm and the Assembly Judiciary Committee are now tasked with conducting a broad impeachment investigation of all of the allegations being brought against the governor. We asked Republican Assemblyman Michael Montesano of Nassau County, who is a ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, for insight on the selection process. As a Republican member of the Judiciary Committee, what role did you have in the selection process? Well, the selection process, none. It was done by the majority, you know, by the Speaker and the Chair of the uh, Committee. So you didn't get to have a say at all? No. What do you make of that? Well, it, you know, it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, they're the majority. They're the ones that are controlling, you know, the operation of the committee and this investigation. UB political science professor Jacob Nyheisel says unlike the federal process, there was no high crimes and misdemeanor standard in New York's Constitution. So the governor could be impeached for any reason lawmakers deem necessary. The lack of specificity absolutely helps the legislature here. Ali, any update on how long this will take? Well, Ashley, there is no telling how long the process will take because there isn't any language in the state's constitution and there's little precedent. Remember, the last time a governor was impeached was in 1913, so there's little to go on here. It's really unclear how long this process is going to take. We'll see how it plays out.